Fat Choi. It's our Chinese New Year race day on Monday at Sha Tin. Eleven races, three trophy races, the Centenary Vars and the start of the four-year-old series as well. That is the classic mile. Very welcome to Racing to Win. I'm Andrew Schoen, joined in the studio by a former lash, Paul Alley, and race caller Tom Wood as well. Tom, it's going to be a bumper day with all those races and all those uh, trophy races too. Certainly will be, Andrew. Uh, Kung Hei Fat Choi, everybody. Uh, there should be a good meeting coming up at uh, Sha Tin. 11 races to uh, get our teeth stuck into. Looking forward to the first leg of the four-year-old series, the classic mile. I think it'll be a, a great clash between uh, more than this and Golden 60. The Centenary Vars, uh, Exultant and the Macau Horse back again as well, Sacred Capital. Yeah, with Jamie Spencer in the saddle, travelling over along with Ryan Moorpool. And as uh, always, we've got a big jackpot in the TT. We have. We've got uh, 16 million in the... Uh, uh, the triple trio uh, as the jackpot, so the money tree's out there. We just need to shake it and find a few winners to come out of it. Uh, also, races 7 and 11, we've got uh, the first four in quartet. There's a merged jackpot on there as well. All right, and that's either side of the Chinese New Year Day Cup as well. Race number 10, the third of the trophy races. So with the 11 races, there's plenty to get through, so we'll launch straight into the, the preview. Some of the, uh, the details you need to be aware of, though, is uh, the scratching starting off with race number two. Carry the Diamond, a first starter, unfortunately. I've got loose at track work, so it won't be running on Monday. Replaced by Dragon Pride, another first starter for Tony Picone and Tony Minot, who teamed up midweek at Happy Valley for a win. And Time Warp is out of the Centenary Vase, which has changed the speed map significantly. Race six, Pro Fit, has been replaced by Lotus Breeze. Ben So will be in the saddle there. That is race at number six. And the last, Encouraging, has been replaced by Stablemate, Helena Baby. So carry the number one saddle cloth, but is bottom weight in the race. So just be aware of that. So 11 races. We're on the B plus two course. And it's the year of the rat. We start at Chartin on Monday with meeting number 39 of the season. Kick things off with the class five of the 1200. The only class five for the day, headed by I'm the Conquest, back into class five company. Spicy really tries class five for the first time, maiden after seven. Yi Chong Pegasus, first up for the season, first start for Tony Millard as well. Target Finder, also class five for the first time. Kwai Chung Elite, beaten favourite last time out behind Fire and Gold. Nice Fandango, it's got Barry 13, 13, but he rolls forward. Uh, Fire and Gold was a last start course and distance winner. That was his maiden uh, victory, and down to Whistle Up, who was runner up last time out behind. Fire and Gold, but he gets barrier 14. Nice Fandango and the last start winner, Fire and Gold, have both been up at Chung Fa within the last 30 days. We know that uh, Nice Fandango is pretty much uh, rock solid uh, in terms of his pace profile, so he'll be up there with uh, Redbrick Fighter, who's lining up uh, from a new stable. Now with David Hall, Joe Marrera won a recent trial on him where he certainly did look improved, but Neil Kellen uh, rides with a tongue tie coming off. Target Finder, I'm the Conquest to be handy. Awkward runs for Farm Bumper and Whistle Up. First we're going to look at is uh, Yi Chong Pegasus. I think Tony Millard's got this horse going pretty well at the moment. Uh, he has got a good fresh record. He's yet to win, but one of those, he's had a couple of seconds and one of them has been fresh, so he moves nicely. Uh, down the back straight does Yi Chong Pegasus, and his work's been pretty solid. Target finder, I thought this wasn't a bad piece. Um, Jack Wong aboard. Uh, he's got the blinkers on. He's got no form to speak of, so you have to take him on trust. But his work suggested he is coming along and is improving a little bit. And the other one we're going to have a look at here is Fire and Gold. He's the last start winner. And the Joe Marrera board here. Just a couple of slow sectionals also for him. But a horse in form at the moment is Fire and Gold. And that was his first win from his 19th start. Mm, certainly wasn't overdoing it there, was he, Fire and Gold? Have a look at his win, though, in a moment or so. Let's start off with Spicy, really. Now, I thought he was an eye-catching run two starts back. Uh, did this last time out um, as well and takes the class drop. Yeah, so he's into class five for the first time. I thought uh, his last couple of runs, he's certainly shown improvement behind Fortune Brilliant and then behind Brilliant last time out. He might have been slightly held up in the straight as so well. You can see him looking for a run there. Had to dart to back to the inside of the, the horse in the green and the yellow there. I thought he stayed on OK, but he's the run of an improver, I thought. Yeah, I, look, he's had the seven starts. He's yet to bank a check. But he is downgraded, so that'll give him his opportunity, I think. Yeah, I thought um, off the back of that, he might go pretty close um, here. But uh, General Trump and Fairy Floss, uh, they both drop back from the 1,400 metres. Yeah, Fairy Floss is a horse who he does catch my eye a bit in track work, but he hasn't really produced it on the race course yet. Uh, the blinkers will come off uh, him and the pacifiers will go on. He should get a, get a nice enough run, Lyle Hewitson in two. And the other one, General Trump, uh, he's been running some consistent races down on this uh, very low grade. So uh, he's another definitely chance in the race, I think. He was a bit keen last time at General Trump uh, between runners down the side, but I thought he stayed on OK there. He just sort of plugged away over the final stages. All right, we can see Fairy Floss in action uh, once more here. But this is the win 
of uh, Fire and Gold, which has taken him a while to, uh, to achieve. It was start number 19. Joe Moreira was in the saddle. He keeps the right. Came from well back to score on this occasion too. Did Fire and Gold. You can see him there in the, the red shades. Uh, one from the outside to beginning to uh, make up good ground uh, down the outside. That was with Joe Moreira. He stays on board. He's got a little bit of an awkward to draw this time round. Again, wider than gate 8 out in gate 12. But uh, the way he won this, you'd say he could potentially go on with it. He had threatened on numerous occasions before this, Paul. Yeah, he's an up for me. And also, I'm going to put quite strong elite in the horse that ends up running third there mm. because I just thought that he was a bit of a sitting duck in that race. He got he, to the front a bit. He has early. been threatening recently. Yeah, and he was favourite for that uh, race as well. So it might be worth another chance um, there. That's quite strong elite at nearly... A nine to one here, Red Brick Fighter. So with the the stable change, I actually made him a horse to follow his first start, but he hasn't done a great deal since. He hasn't banked the check from his nine starts. The tongue tie will come off him. Here's had the stable change, so I'm just going to watch him go around from barrier nine because I thought that was a little bit awkward. Was a Red Brick Fighter with him, and so I'll just let him see how he goes. Farm Bumper, I think, is a morning glory at the moment. Yeah, I'd be inclined to leave Farm Bumper out, but I, I did like that recent trial. He's got the tongue tie coming off, blinkers stay on. Interesting that Joe was on him in that trial, but Neil jumps on board this time round. Joe, of course, might have had a, a prior commitment with Fire and Gold. Yep, who is the uh, the favourite? Uh, Paul, are you with him or you found something else? I found uh, he's in there, uh, but I, I'm going to go with the, the first starter for the new stable, Yi Chong Pegasus. I thought he's been working really well leading into this race. Cross nose band, tongue tie will go on him for the first time. And Look, in those couple of seconds that he's had, they have been in Class 4, he's now in Class 5. So he's there, Kwai Chong Elite, as I said, was a bit of a sitting duck last time. Spicy, really, the run of an improver is Tom said in Fire and Gold. A last start winner, 3 8 2 12. I'm going with Fire and Gold to make it two wins in a row for Dennis Ship and Joe Marrera, horse number 12, to beat too spicy, really. I've got Yi Chong Pegasus in there, didn't mind his recent trial. He's coming off a left front tendon injury and throwing in Red Brick Fighter off his recent trial win. So 12 2 3 and 13. I've got Red Brick Fighter in as well, otherwise I've got the same trio as Paul. Uh, spicy, really, though, I think the one to beat there. Two, three and eight, my top three there in race number one.